All new here tonight on the night team. We have told you about the amazing efforts out of Salem, Indiana High School to help students and staff who are battling cancer from soup dinner fundraisers to organ donor signups. Tonight is no exception. The WHS 1119 team's Tom Lally takes us to Southern Indiana, where the Lions once again take pride in their pack. You don't know how it's going to tragedy is going to happen and then how you deal with it. Salem High School in Washington County, Indiana, holds a lot of love and recently heartbreak. It was kind of just out of nowhere. Cancer spread in the last few months, first taking the life of teacher Derek Smith, then aide Marjorie Elliott, and now I was diagnosed six days after my 18th birthday. Senior Connor Anderson is fighting a rare form of rhabdomyosarcoma, a fast spreading tissue cancer. It's a uh very aggressive and it's very hard to treat. But these lions have pride in their pack and Connor is not fighting alone. I've gotten so many letters, I've gotten so many cards and it's truly terrific what some people can do. He's just such such a good guy. I think all of us here at the high school um, we're rooting for him to win. On Friday, Avery Cockrell was announced homecoming queen and Connor Anderson her king. I was definitely more excited for Connor. Oh, it was pretty cool. A man of few words, but a full heart. And Principal Troy Albert says that's a common theme at Salem. These people just want to help each other and support each other through the good times and the bad times. Hopefully more good than bad days ahead as these seniors look toward the prom and eventually graduation. I know that I'm definitely going to shed some tears whenever I watch them walk out on that stage and as soon as I get to walk out with them too. For now, they'll save the tears and cheer on their newest kid. In Salem, Tom Lally, the WHAS 11 night team on your side. By the way, Connor Anderson has plans to attend Sullivan University in the fall, where he hopes to become a pastry chef. He also has a GoFundMe, by the way, set up to help with the medical bills. And it looks like no contributions have been made in over a week. His librarian told us today it would be so nice if more people could help out. And we do have a link on how you can do that right on our website.